Carries your odds, Strathavon, for his first race start on Sunday. You rode him in a trial recently. He won that trial. Do you go in confident with him? Yeah, um, of course, he's a young horse, and uh, he did a nice trial. Um, you know, he, it's, it's only a two years old, so it's only how much he can improve from the trial. Um, uh, of course, all the other horses in the same category as him. So, you know, of course, there's a few other horses that look uh, pretty fast and so we'll we'll see on the day how how it goes. But the way that he won that trial must give you some confidence. The way that he he beat those horses and what he showed in that trial. Yeah, he showed a bit. I you know I expected a bit more maybe. Uh, he showed a bit of of speed and and, and he finished the trial. Uh, there's one or two horses that, that you need to be to watch for that've been trialing good too. So you know, like I say, it's a two years old race and. You know, if the one that got the most experience normally come out and, and run, and so so we'll see on the day. I think after the first round, you normally see how good and how much they can still improve. And you're heading into the meeting in good form too. Well done on your treble on Wednesday night. Yeah, thank you. It's a uh, second meeting back for the suspension, but uh, it was nice to be able to ride three winners. Tommy, you ride Honest Way on Sunday. You've ridden him in both of his starts. Are you happy with what he's done in those two races? Yeah, I am. He's... Um... He was very green his first start, didn't really know how to get on the bridle and gallop and um, did a few things wrong but really attacked the line well and um, his, his second start he was able to travel a lot closer in the run and um, probably just ran out of gas a little bit late so he's much fitter going into the run on, on the weekend and I think the 1400 is going to suit him well. He's drawn a good barrier for once um, and he's, he's really improved going into this so whatever he does um, sort of to the end of the season I think next season he's going to be a better horser. Been a busy time for yourself. You recently became a father again for the third time. Congratulations! Yeah, no, it's it's been great. It's um, new addition to the family, little Le Levi. Uh, he's doing well, and, and so Shani. So uh, keeps us a little bit busier at home. But um, yeah, no, it's it's great. Gives you a little bit more to work for. Riven Tommy. He's a horse who was an expensive purchase from Australia. He looks like he's taken a few runs to get going. But are we starting to see him near his best now? Yeah, I think so. Um, look, when he was in Australia, he was um, trained by Kieran Ma. Obviously, he was working out at, uh, you know, out on sand dunes and, and, you know, out at the beach and stuff like that. And when I saw him in Queensland and he won the derby there, he was, he was very light looking, so he was quite fit. And over here, obviously, you can't work your horses as hard and um, it takes a, a little bit longer to get him fit, especially for colts. So it has taken him a long time to get fit. Uh, I think you saw that in the derby. It's, he, he looked in good shape there. And, um, John hasn't missed him since then, so um, he, he's had good grounding for the 2200 on the weekend. I think that's going to suit him. Um, he'll be able to roll forward and put himself into the race. And, um, you know, it's just whether Tony Cruz's horse has a better turn of foot than him over this trip still. You mentioned that he's a colt. What's his attitude like? Um, his attitude's better now that he's, he's getting more mileage into his legs. Um, early on in his preparation, he, he still wanted to pull quite a bit and, and carry on going on and off the track. So um, now he's getting a bit more work under his belt um, and he's, he's had a few more runs. Uh, his attitude's getting better. So um, as long as he keeps, keeps it like that, uh, he might be able to keep them. And a ride here for John Moore as well too. You're obviously not stable jockey there anymore, but still a good working relationship between the two of you. Yeah, no, great. Um, John and I are good friends and... Uh, you know, we, I've got a few rides coming up for him, so it's good. Um, you know, hopefully we can keep uh, our association going. We've had great times in the past. Um, obviously not, not a great season this, this season, uh, but over the last five years we've had, I think, 10 Group 1 wins together. So um, it's nice to see all that hasn't gone to waste. Sam, Shamport's had one run here in Hong Kong. You rode him on that occasion. What did you think of the performance? Good performance. Um, he'd had, he was going into that race with, uh, the, the just, with the three trials under his belt, uh, and that was probably as fit as... Uh, he could get without having having a, some racing. Um, so naturally, he was always going to improve after after last start, and uh, I think he has. His track work's been exceptional, and uh, very happy with him. So uh, I'm I'm expecting him to uh, be very competitive on Sunday. You've had a lot to do with him since he arrived here in Hong Kong. What's he like as a horse, and what's your overall opinion of him? He's a lovely horse. He's got a, a, a lovely attitude. Even though he's a colt, he uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't think he's a colt. He's very laid back. Um, nothing seems to bother him. He's a real professional type, um, and uh, and he seems to have some sort of ability. So, um, I mean, I'm looking forward to Sunday. Sticks to the 1400 metres, but distance-wise, what do you th what type do you think he is? Oh, I think he'll be a nice miler. I don't think he will he will run much further than a mile, but he's quite a sharp sort of horse. Um, but I think eventually he'll definitely get out to a mile. 
just for yourself, wins recently on Red Elise and also Solar Patch after perhaps a couple of quieter periods by your standards. Do you feel like your momentum's picking up this month? I hope so. Uh, it'd be nice to you know finish off the last three months of the season strong. Uh, as you said, we've had a few quiet patches this season, but um, that's probably to be expected as well. Um, you never know what you're going to get in Hong Kong, so just got to keep working hard and keep your head down and keep going. Has it been a bit more challenging this season, though, after a terrific first season here? Oh, for sure, 100% it has, but I feel like I've, I've learnt a lot more this season. Uh, last season was a bit of a, a blur and I seem to be going 100 miles an hour where this, this season I can really reflect and, and um, try and uh, sharpen my craft. John, he's the one for us. He was an impressive winner at his only start in New Zealand. He's had three trials with you. Are you happy with what he's shown you? Yeah, he seems OK. He's, uh, he probably made the adaption to Hong Kong reasonably quickly. Um, his work's been good. His trials have been sound. Um, I don't think we can do much more at home. He might as well go to the races and, uh, and get that first race out of the way. You know. What's he like as a horse? I think he's got some talent. He seems to, um, he's got a, he's an unusual running style. He carries his head a little bit high, but seems to certainly have a good long stride and uh, a good action. He moves quite well. So um, I think he'll run well. Kicked off over 1,400 metres in New Zealand. He's kicking off over 1,200 metres here. Is he a sprinter miler type? I, ha I haven't sort of got an opinion on what distance he'd need just at the moment, but. We start at 1,200. I think he'll uh, s still be capable at, at that distance, even if it's a bit short for him. And um, I think he's got enough speed to keep in touch with the leaders and, and uh, finish off. Just from the outside looking in, John, it seems you've got an endless supply of these good young horses coming through the stable. Is he one that you picked out yourself to bring up here? No, no, he's a PP. Uh, the, the, the owners uh, owned him in New Zealand and uh, they brought him up here after he qualified.